So earlier this year, I made a video that taught teachers how to teach students who were at home and students who were at school at the very same time. So teaching students synchronous in two different locations. Today, I'm gonna to follow up with that video and I'm gonna show you how to do the very same thing except with Zoom. So many teachers out there are using Zoom and Zoom is incredible. Zoom makes it so easy to teach students who are in both locations. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is just show you the tools I'm using to make this happen. I've got an iPad, I've got a laptop, and then every teacher in their classroom has either a TV or a projector, right? So there's my TV and it's serving as my projector in the classroom. Remember, you can do this with either a TV or a projector. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mirror the computer to the TV. Now, Apple allows me to do that wireless, but if you're using a Windows device, all you've got to do is plug it in through the HDMI. All right, so to mirror my screen to my TV using the Apple TV, I'm gonna go up here to the top right to the control panel and click. And then I'm gonna choose on screen mirroring. And then I'm gonna choose my Apple TV. In this case, my Apple TV is living room. So I'm gonna choose it and you'll see it show up over there on the TV or in your classroom on the projector. All right, so another way that you can get what's on your computer to show up on your TV or your projector is just to hardwire your com computer straight to the TV. Now, we're going to do that with an HDMI cable. Now, some computers have an, HD an HDMI port built in. If not, on a Mac, the best thing you can do is get a dongle that it takes the USB-C or whatever port you've got and turns it into lots of other ports like usb HDMI, Ethernet, it just depends on the dongle you get. But what we can do is we can take and plug that dongle right into the computer and then plug the HDMI into the dongle. And once we get that HDMI plugged into that dongle, you can see what's on my computer is also showing up on my TV, right? And so however you hook your TV up, I mean your computer up to your TV is up to you. You can do it through AirPlay wirelessly or you can hardwire it. Now I will say this, hardwiring it is the safest way to go. It reduces any type of lag. It's, it's very effective if you hardwire it, but you may wanna do it wireless, it's up to you. All right, so now that I've got my computer mirrored to my uh, projector or to my TV, now let's, I'm gonna go ahead and open a Zoom. So I open Zoom and I'm gonna choose a new meeting. Okay, now that I've got the new meeting open, all I have to do is go right here where it says share screen and look at the four options I have. I can share my desktop, I can share a whiteboard, I can do iPhone, iPad via AirPlay, or I can do iPhone, iPad via cable. Now I'm gonna choose this one right here, iPhone, iPad via AirPlay. Okay, so when I choose that, look at what it tells me on the screen. It says connect my iPad to the same Wi-Fi as I'm connected on my computer, which I am. And then it says on my iPad to go to the control panel, tap screen mirroring and look for where it says Zoom. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so look at what this is doing. It's taking what's on my iPad, projecting it to my laptop and sharing it out for anybody who's on the meeting. Now think about why that's cool. My computer is mirrored to the projector right now. Okay, my iPad is going to my computer. So the, the, the students who are at home are seeing everything on my iPad right now. The students who are at school are seeing everything on my computer. But as you can see, the Zoom is showing up on my computer also. And so I've got my webcam over here at the top right. I've got my iPad screen right here in this area. And so now anything I do with my iPad, the students at home and at school will see it. So you can see as I move around, guess what? Everybody at home and everyone at school are seeing that. Isn't that great? All right, so let's talk for just a second why this is so important, right? Why, why is it important for me to be able to do this wirelessly, okay? It's, it's important for a lot of reasons, but research will tell you that the least effective place that you can teach your class is from behind your desk. And the second least effective place you can teach it is from the front of the classroom, right? I like, we, we like teachers to teach from what we call the power zone, okay? There's a book called The Fundamental Five, and you may want to get it. 
and they they outline exactly what the power zone is. The power zone is moving around the room, being amongst the students, seeing what they're writing on their paper, seeing what they're doing, listening to the conversations that they're having, right? I don't want to tie a teacher to the front of the classroom. I want the teachers to be able to move around the room and teach. So me being able to wirelessly connect my iPad to my computer and project that screen out from my iPad onto the Zoom now allows the teacher to have freedom in the classroom and move around as they please. Okay, now that you've got your iPad mirrored to your computer and your computer mirrored to either your projector or your TV, let's talk about, about actually providing that quality instruction. Now, Zoom has a built-in whiteboard. I prefer not to use it because I have a, a, a app that turns your iPad into a whiteboard that's way better than the whiteboard that Zoom provides. So I would encourage you to not use the Zoom whiteboard, but instead to use an app called Explain Everything. So that's, if, that's this app right here, Explain Everything. And what I love about Explain Everything is it does so many things. But the main thing it does is it allows you to take an Apple Pencil or your finger and use them as a stylus as you write um, and teach moving around your room. So now here I am, and I'm gonna move around the classroom, right? And as I move around the classroom, you can see I'm writing on the screen, two plus two equals four. It's showing up on my iPad, and it's also showing up on my computer, which means it's showing up on my projector as well. So students at home are seeing me right here. Students at school are seeing me right here. I'm teaching both groups at the exact same time. Now I've got on YouTube a playlist that teaches you how to use Explain Everything. And so I'd encourage you to go find that playlist. I'll put the link in the description so that you can become an expert with Explain Everything. So one of the last things I wanted to mention was to encourage you to get a cheap HD webcam like this one. They're 30 bucks, you can get them on Amazon. I'll put a, a link in the description below. Also get you a tripod, a $30 tripod. And finally, like a 20 foot USB extension cable. Now what those three things will let you do is they'll allow you to hook that webcam up to your computer and then change your camera and zoom so the students who are virtual, you can take that tripod to wherever you are in your classroom. Say you're a science teacher and you're doing an experiment. You can carry that webcam right up to where the experiment is and you can aim it directly at the experiment and now you're rocking, right? The students who are at home can really see up close what you're intending for them to see. Now that we've got the projector, I mean the iPad showing up on the computer and the computer showing up on the projector, I'm able to teach students in two different locations at the exact same time. Now when I made this video a year ago, it was way harder to do than this, right? There was all kind of logging in online you had to do, but Zoom has made this much simpler. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to the ladies at Southern Cotton for this shirt. I know many of you have probably said over and over, you're on mute. Uh, so they hooked me up with this one. I really appreciate it. So I hope this video helped. Um, if you would, if you liked it, if you would like and subscribe, I would appreciate it.